What is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and I just finished uploading the video of the Evolution X ROM and that was the 4th August 2020 build video and right after I did that we got another update of the Evolution X which is the 10th August 2020. So I was like what the but I thought why not make a video that how I update the ROM when I am on this 4th August 2020 build how I update manually every time whenever I am in Evolution X or any other custom ROM and this method will be applied if your ROM has the gapps included in the ROM file itself it does not need a gapp separately to flash so that's when this method will be applied and again this is actually the about section of the ROM this is not a screenshot or something I am on the 4th August 2020 build if you are noticing the build date up close this is the 4th August 2020 build I am on right now and here is the 4th August 2020 build and here is the 10th August 2020 build. So this is the latest one on the top and let me show you we will need like some things like this format this 12.0.2 .2 firmware I have over here and as my storage is decrypted I will need this fcrypt disabler too and I will use this latest orange box recovery R11 over here to do it. Now let me show you just in case if something goes wrong or something how do I back up. In this particular process you won't really need to back up everything because you will still have the data and stuff like all the data you have but here it says as you can see clean flash before reporting bugs and stuff so the developer always almost mentions that you need to clean flash the ROM but that's not always the case it won't be too much buggy or something don't worry about that but this is just a precaution to back up everything that I'm gonna show you right now. Well, if you guys didn't know, I use the Google App Data Backup for most things. And as you can see, if I tap Backup, here it shows your email ID and here it shows your device and stuff. So right now, I'll just click on Backup. And this, like I'll remind you that this backs up your app data, your text messages, the device settings, call history and the contacts. So that is how you back up everything to your Google Cloud. And this process will take time depending on your Wi-Fi network and sometimes even if you have a really fast Wi-Fi network for some reason as you can see right now it's backing up and it's not too fast. I have a 75 Mbps connection but still this is not too fast. This is quite slow. And if you want to backup your WhatsApp chats to your Google Cloud so select this backup to Google Drive and from here select this only when I tap backup. So make sure you have it checked and you have your Google account registered over here. That's when you would select on the backup like button over here and you will see it's backing up to the Google Cloud. I think most of you guys should know about this. So make sure you back up everything to your Google Cloud or Google Drive in case this is a WhatsApp backup. So once this backup is complete and this one is completed too, make sure you turn off your Wi-Fi just for a safety measure. I just did that because I wanted to show you guys so yeah now let's just boot into the recovery and you can go into the advanced settings and directly boot into the recovery and I turned off Wi-Fi here because I know that everything will be fine so that's why I did that and I did not let the backup complete but you should let the backup complete then turn off Wi-Fi and stuff then you can reboot to recovery. So once you have booted into the recovery go to your download folder and now go to your firmware folder or like if you have everything in same place you just select that and first we will select the latest firmware for me it is the Rafael in in global version 12.0.2 .2 firmware and I'll select add to queue then I'll add the latest build which is the 8 10 or 10th August build of Evolution X version 4.6 and I'll add to queue again. Then I'll go over here and I'll select this fcrypt disorder because my storage is decrypted. And here, let me remind you, you do not need to wipe anything. You can wipe cache and Dalvik if you want to, but I don't do that. I don't wipe anything. I just flash these things and I swipe to install. And I had the reboot after installation selected. So it will reboot the like reboot to the system automatically whenever the flashing procedure is done. So right now it's rebooting to the system because I had that option enabled of that reboot after installation. And as you can see it shows the Evolution X logo or the boot animation.
and at this point you should really wait for the time being until it boots it might take up to like 5 to 10 minutes so yeah as you can see right now it shows finishing system update and it will take about two minutes so right now you just unlock the device by entering your pin and you tap right after entering pin and now let me just go into the settings and the android version and here if i scroll down as you can see right now i'm on the 10th august 2020 build updated successfully so that is how you update to the latest evolution x or any other custom rom and that is the like manual updating process that i do every time and some of you guys were asking about it that how to update manually and this is how you do it thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tiro from kerry and tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now